Dude, I am so excited for this set. Um, I mean, everything is just so perfect to me. I mean, the box, the foiling on it. Um, I mean, we already did one unboxing, uh, just the pre-release cards, and we got some pretty baller stuff. And shout out to my local LGS. I didn't even expect I was going to be getting one of these. But thank you so much, the Mothership Books and Games. If you're ever in Austin, check them out. I'm telling you, they are, they are the shiz. They are definitely the shiz. Now, I'm also going to say, there are quite a bit of cards that are of value in this set. Commons, uncommons, every single slot. So, uh, we're going to do our best to edit what we can. But at the end of the day, I mean, I literally am not going to be able to put every single card in the set here. Because there's just going to be too many to edit. Um, so, oh my god, that is beautiful. I like the, uh, the little background art there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do our best, but don't expect me to edit every single card. I will total the entire value though, but I will not be editing every single uh, card. Um, the Diamond Lion though, nice little starter for the extended art rare slot. And then the Lazatope Chancellor. Ooh, Endurance, okay. Um, probably not like, you know, the most expensive card, but we're gonna go ahead and sleeve it anyways, because, you know, it might be. Might be, you know, like seven or eight bucks if I'm guessing. And the foil worldly weirer. Hey, there's our first old board there. The talisman of hierarchy. I am very curious like how these old borders are gonna look. Um oh we're getting two, okay. How the how you going there there? The mine collapse. Now this one looks a little bit more to me like the foil edge kind of look. So I wonder if that's what they were going for. Oh! Okay, um, we're getting a lot of these then. I guess we're going to find out how the order of these work, but we did get the Void Mirror. Very nice card there. You can't even hardly see the uh, mana cost on video. That's not doing it justice, but uh, the Magus of the Bridge for a foil rare on the back there. Um, all right, let me go through one more pack. We'll see if that's like the order of it, and then we can reorder our, our, uh, our setup here. All right. Few comments here. Here we go. Uncommons. The brainstorm and a good old mountain territorial bloodhound. A hey, verdant cat uh, command. Why did I say catacomb? Verdant command. Good card there, probably. Bone shards. Mystic redaction. The Wrangler. Oh, yeah, that is definitely the foil etch look right there. Not sure if y'all can really see it on camera, but that is definitely foil etch for sure. 100%. Uh, my question is, um, actually, I guess we're going to keep it separate. I think we're going to keep it separate because it, there might be foil etch and foil. I'll have to look in a second. Gay as well. First, uh, no, not first. Yes, first extended art foil. All right, let me look if there's like foil etching real quick. Uh, okay, uh, yes, yeah, so there is foil etching. So we got a lot of different types of piles here. Um, let me rearrange. We got too many piles, I'm going to say that. We're just going to make that our old border foil and foil etch pile, I guess. Tokens we'll just leave off camera because tokens usually, they'll usually drop. All right, how y'all doing? Um, nothing really spicy yet. I'm actually a little surprised by that, but... Uh, Hey, don't be too picky. All it needs is that one card, and you're going to go from nothing to something. Nothing to something. Ooh, that's a beautiful swap right there. I just realized, too, these are the foil etching, too. I wonder if those those might actually be something. Who knows? A land actually worth something? That's the day. That's what I say. Okay. Nice little card right there. And what did we get? The blacksmith skill. Gargan. I don't know why I said it with a weird accent, but uh, it worked. Okay, it worked. Gorilla Shaman. Oh my god, no fucking way. Oh lord. Um, I'm not sure if it's the most expensive card we can get. But Foil, Force of Negation, and in a beautiful Old Border Foil Etch. That, that is a card. I mean, that probably made, that's probably going to make the entire, I'm going to leave it in its own pile because that's in its own right 
a card. The resurgent belief. Okay, what I tell y'all? Something to nothing. I mean, that's gotta be. That's got. I mean, just based off of the Modern Horizons Two is what I'm gonna guess. That's gotta be at least over hundred dollars. Now you're gonna see the price, obviously, because I'm gonna have that card edited. But uh, at least, like, you know, just not seeing prices right now, because I don't want to sit here and mess with those too much. Yeah, that's got to be a card. And grief. Oh my god. <laughs> um, uh, is this the box? That's what I. That's what I want to know. Is this the box? Grief and foil pact of negation. This is this is a this is definitely a this is something. Why did I put my? Oh my gosh, my my things are. Oh, I'll fix it in a second. I'll fix it in a second. Now that card was a little bit hard to read the the way that they decided to overlap those. Persist, and the soul talisman. Not sure if this card is actually going to go up in value. Kind of having my eye on a little bit. Um, and uh, we'll see kind of how the price point ends up. At least from like my experience with the other suspend style, uh, I think it was a Mox, uh, did not do, like value wise, did not do very good. And um, maybe I'm thinking that could be the same thing. It's a little interesting though that they decided to reprint Soul Ring, but like in that kind of way, because that is definitely a step back from where it used to be. Calibrated Blast. Late for dinner. No, that, <laughs> trust me, I'm never late to dinner. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, Urza Saga, <laughs> leaving a huge, huge impact on Modern, so I know that we gotta sleeve that card, we have definitely gotta sleeve that, beautiful card, and Ephemerate, yeah, just give us that card in an old boil of foil, yeah, we'll take that, <laughs> and the Chancellor seeing its return in foil, Brainstorm, nice little old border there, the Resurgent Belief, we already got that too, didn't we, we got a foil version though, um, so I guess the the old border, that's weird that they did this kept the old border and then they just made a foil and a and a, a foil a foil etch one. Why can I not speak there? Out of time. Good board wipe. Not board wipe. I guess that's more like a board clearish sort of. Hmm. Temporary get rid of. We'll say that. Temporary get rid of. <laughs> that's like the ah uh, we'll deal with it tomorrow kind of kind of card that's what i'll say for that and the island scolding tarn how you doing had to make an appearance good old 60 dollar card right there uh yeah i think we're gonna sleeve that probably would be a good idea and we'll put you in the good old good old pile over there and the charlotte's agent that is some beautiful artwork right there i don't know why but this extended art on that it looks so much better chattering storm not sure what your value is but it's definitely i need that for a commander deck we are definitely 100 percent making a commander deck for uh for the uh the squirrels and it's it's gonna happen it's gotta happen and i, I just gotta wait for it to come around till i get the cards never endorse disc did not even say that right i don't think and fractured sanctity I feel like we're really trucking along because, I mean, I guess I don't really know the full value of the set yet because this is only our first, technically our first box. Um, but, I mean, so far it seems like we're just like really trucking along, getting some mid-tier, getting some high-tier, and then obviously we're getting some low-tier. So this is kind of one of those boxes that I feel like could go any way. Uh, I, this is the one time I'm going to try to say it, okay? Asmoran, no, Mardukai, Des did cool the car did i say it right please let me know if i said that if i said it right then maybe i'll say it more than once and the nikdos paragon and what does that say the tribute mage do you like that they're reprinting a few of the uh modern horizons cards though but not too many of them shenanigans that is de <laughs> definitely what we're doing something over here some, some shenanigans and the hall of heliod uh did i yeah i do have that card did, I, I didn't know that they printed that and oh okay 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 i can, I can uh you know i could just stop here i could literally just stop here we don't even have to open the rest of the packs <laughs> scalding tarn gotta be careful with you 
Uh, yeah, that's over a hundred dollars right there. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, my friends that I play magic with are gonna hate me. They are gonna hate me. I mean, I don't know why, but my luck when I open packs are just... They're just on another level. There's no... <laughs> oh, there's none other than the luck that I have when I open boxes. I mean, I just hate to brag, but it's just how it goes. Glenza tomorrow, how you doing there? I love this, the, the you know, the suspend only cards, Abundant Harvest, how you doing? And Garth, you know, I just throw a cherry on top. Good old Black Lotus reprint. Gotta love it. Terminal Agony. Jade Avenger. And the new Ornithopter there. Very interesting they decided to do it in that way. And Ice Fang. I'm actually surprised, uh... Oh, and the Ignoble Hierarch. Uh, we'll go ahead and sleeve that one. Ice Fang actually might be worth something. Um, I feel like it was one of those like sleeper cards in Modern Horizons that initially it was like, ah, that's just a dollar card. And then, you know, maybe like a couple weeks after, they're like, oh, maybe that's the two dollar card. And then they're like, oh, well, maybe it's... And it just kept on, you know, kind of going up and ticking up just ever so slightly. And then it finally found a pretty good price point. And, uh... I'm, I'm very surprised that that card actually went up as much as it did. Jade Avenger and Mishra's Factory. Our piles are starting to get pretty crazy over here. I apologize for that. Needless Shambler and the Universal um, Automaton Angelic Curator. Uh, that's just a regular foil. No, we'll throw it over there. Never mind. And Braids. Why not? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god why not why not i mean we already got everything else so why not just give us basically the most expensive card in the or most expensive mythic in the set and you know what let's make it an extended art foil why not um i mean we really have not been getting very many foil or uh mythics but let me tell you actually garth was a mythic wasn't it yeah there we go Wrong pile. Sorry, Garth. It's okay. Don't get mad at me. Um, but, I mean, four Mythics for so far is not very high. But I'm not going to complain because value-wise, we, I feel like, have blown this out of the water. We'll have to see because, I mean, $400 is, is quite a bit price point to hit. But, um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, come on, really. Can you, can you be mad? Even if we don't hit our price in this set or this box right here. This is definitely a beautiful... Um... 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 <laughs> Double Arid Mesa pack? Uh... <laughs> yeah, if you made it this far, uh... If you want to leave that like and subscribe button, that would definitely be much appreciated and help a lot. And, uh... I mean, you, you, if this is the first box, trust me, you're going to want to see the rest of my boxes because the, to me, this is, this is not even anywhere close to like the amount of nuttiness we can hit. Like, I feel like we are definitely going to have some more crazy boxes. We are definitely going to have some more, more crazy boxes on top of this. And I apologize to it as a little bit longer video. Um, but I mean, what can you expect? It's my first box. Okay. Technically first time. Can, can it be my first box? Don't include the pre-release packs. Oh my gosh. I mean, I feel like after this, we're just going to be completely numb to getting, uh, you know, getting fetch lands. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Factor of Sanctity, how you doing there? The Blooming Calm. That is not us at all. Ornithopter, how you doing there again? Terminal Agony, got another one. So we're starting to see some duplication. And the Torarch Dead Cantor. Very interesting card. I feel like this one might be one of those sleeper cards too. It, uh, shut up. <laughs> uh, could, sorry. It could definitely, you know, see one of those cards that could go either way. Last pack though. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't tap it for good luck. Question is, is tapping it actually bad luck or good luck? Because we haven't tapped it in a while and we've actually been getting some pretty good cards in our last packs. Planes? Prove us wrong. Sanctum Weaver, okay. How you doing there? Moderation. The Flooded Hound. Take him out. Hey, there we go. Underworld Cookbook. Definitely needed that card. We're going to be making that. And Sesse. Why did I say Sesse? Captain Sesse. 
Oh my gosh, really? Um... Alright, I know y'all are gonna say that I'm sounding a little stingy on this one, but I mean... <laughs> we've already gotten three of the Murpho gods. We literally have gotten one of every type that we could possibly get now. We got the regular version, we got the old border foil, we got the extended art foil, so I mean, literally, if uh, somebody who knows me that is watching this video wants one of those... Hit me up, please. Hit me up. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, though. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and thank you so much for stopping by.